wouldn't it be great if you can take your build folder and chuck it up directly onto the web and get a CDN and have it all hooked up in a matter of minutes? Well, in this episode, I'm gonna tell you how you can do that with AWS Amplify. From the AWS console, we can search for the Amplify service by typing in Amplify and hitting enter. And let's look at the menu on the left-hand side and click on all apps. If you did have or do have any apps connected, you'll see them here. If not, you can click on connect app. Now you have a few options to connect. The newest option is to deploy without Git provider. So let's select that and hit continue. We have the option now to provide an app name, an environment name, and a source method for our deploy. So for the app name, I'm going to type in clean air. For the environment, dev, and we're going to choose drag and drop. I'm gonna grab my build folder and just drag it and drop it into this hit area. And then I can click on the folder and see the contents of that folder. Everything looks good. So I'm going to click save and deploy, give it a couple of minutes, and it's going to provide us with our domain, as well as the last time we updated our deployment, the status of our current deployment, which is now successful. If we click on the domain now, it'll take us right to our project. If we give it a little bit, we'll see that our screenshot also was updated. So now we know what that deployment looks like. To look at our app settings. Under general, we have our app name, when it was created, and the last time it was updated. There isn't much you can change, but you can hit edit and change your app name as well as provide a service role. Under environments, we can actually add or edit our current environment. So let's add a new environment. I'm going to add prod. And once again, you choose a source method. In this case, I'm going to go with drag and drop again, and I'm going to drop my build folder in. Take a look at its contents and make sure everything I wanted is in there. Save and deploy. And now we can see that it's queued up and waiting for a deployment. And we'll have two separate builds. We'll have our deployment for our dev. And now we have a deployment for our prod environment. We can click on the domain, check out our environment now we have both the prod and the dev up so if we want to do some checks we can see side by side jump back into here we have a screenshot as we did before as well as the last deployment now if we go into domain management on the domain management screen we can choose to provide a redirect domain something that's a little more user friendly instead of the dev.d2zz uh, and we can do that for both our dev as well as our prod environment. Email notifications, if you would like to add an email so you know when environments are changed, for example, I can add my email address here and choose an environment. And then every time a build starts, succeeds or fails, we'll get an email notification about that. We can control the access as well. So we click on manage. We can say, hey, this is publicly... Um, viewable or we can provide a username and password. Thanks for watching this video on AWS Amplify. Please consider subscribing to stay up to date with all the latest in AWS Amplify. Leave a comment. I love reading them and more importantly, I definitely do reply videos. So if you have any questions or comments or any feedback, make sure to drop a line for me in the comment section below.